Is that okay with you? Sure, sir. Do you have any joint pain anyway? No, sir. Okay. Do you have any questions related to the exam? No, sir. Okay. Thank you. Throughout the assessment of the patient arm, note their range of motion, muscle mass, and strength. To assess for the vascular system in the arms, inspect the patient's hand. They should feel warm and free from lesions or edema. Now check for capillary refill. This is done by depressing a nail bed until it blanches. Then quickly release the pressure. The nail bed should regain its normal color by 1 to 2 seconds. Palpate the radial pulse and brachial pulse. which should be equal, regular, with normal rate and rhythm. Moving on to the assessment by evaluating the arm sensory function. To do this, follow some of the guidelines. Have the patient to keep his eyes closed, scatter the stimuli, vary the pace, compare distal and proximal areas, compare both sides of the body, note any areas of sensory loss. Ask the patient to close his eyes and command the instructions. Mr. Ajay, could you please close your eyes and tell me where and how it feels? Okay, sir. To assist for slight touch, whisk a cotton to the patient's arms randomly. Ajay, can you tell me which sensation it is? Slight touch. Good. To assist the patient pain sensation, use sharp object to test the sharp and dull sensation. Can you tell me which sensation it is? Sharp. Mr. Ajay, can you tell me now which sensation it is? Blunt. Okay. If the patient has trouble in identifying this stimuli, assess his temperature sensation in similar way by using test tubes of cold and warm water. Can you again close your eyes and tell me how it feels? Yes, sir. Okay. Cold. Warm. Warm. Cold. Okay. You can open your eyes. Next, assess the patient position sensation. Can you please close your eyes and tell me which direction your fingers moves now? Okay, sir. Okay. Up. Down. Up. Down. Up. Down. He should be able to do this accurately. Assist the patient test discrimination by the use of these four tests. First one, stereognosis. Mr. Ajay, can you close your eyes and identify the object placed in your hand? Okay, sir. Okay. Can you tell me which object it is? Coin. Okay. You can open your eyes. Thank you. Second test is graphesthesia. To perform this test, ask the patient to identify a number traced on his palm. Can you close your eyes for me? Okay, sir. Yes. Thank you. Could you please recite whatever I write on your palm? Two. Yes. You can open your eyes now. Next, two point discrimination test. Randomly touch two sharp objects to the patient fingertips and then gradually two. decrease the distance between two, the two objects. Two. This test is done to note the One. distance at which he can no longer perceive two separate points. Fourth test is extinction. Touch two corresponding parts of the patient's body. At the same time, ask him to show where he was touched. Can you close eyes for me? Now I will touch any of your body parts and you should show me where you are felt sensation. Okay, brilliant. You can open your eyes now. You should be able to feel both touches and identify their location. Now test motor function. 
by assessing the deep tendon reflexes and instructing the patient to relax his arms. Biceps reflex. Place your thumb on the patient's biceps tendon and strike it with the reflex hammer. Normally, this causes the forearm to flex. Next, test the triceps reflex. Support the patient's upper arm. Strike the triceps tendon above the elbow. This should elicit forearm extension. Test for the brachioradialis reflex. Strike the forearm 2 to 3 cm above the radial styloid process. This normally causes forearm flexion and supination. Next, assess the cerebral functions of the arms. Can you please pat your knees with the palms upwards and downwards for me? Now increase the speed. Okay. His movement should be equal and coordinated. Now could you please touch your thumbs to each finger on the same hand like this. Now reverse the direction. Yes. He should be able to do this rapid skill movements quickly and accurately. Now assess point to point localization using finger to finger test. Mr. Ajay, can you please touch my finger and then touch your nose for me? Yes. Oh, thank you. His movement should be smooth and accurate. Can you close your eyes for me now? Now stretch your arms and touch your nose with one index finger. Now do it a bit faster. Okay. His movement should be smooth and accurate. This completes your upper extremities examination. Thank you so much for your cooperation. You can get relaxed now. That's nice. Okay. Mr. Ajay has normal capillary refill. Radial and brachial pulse were palpable. Sensory function of the arms are normal. Biceps and triceps reflex were normal and his cerebral functions are active. Now moving on to lower extremities. So Mr. Arjan, now I am going to assess your legs and you will have to perform some of the movement. Is that okay with you? Sure sir. Do you have any pain in your lower extremities? No sir. Let's start your lower extremity examination. Yeah, sure, sir. Note the legs for muscle mass and strength to assess the vascular system. Inspect the legs for skin color, hair distribution, and toe in integrity. And also, we look for abnormalities such as asymmetry, venous pattern, and lesions or edema. Using the back of your hands, check the temperature of the legs. It should be warm and symmetrical. Now flex the patient knee and compress the calf muscle gently against the tibia. Release the pressure, then ask the patient whether pain is there or what. Do you have pain over here? No sir. Okay. Then dorsiflex the patient foot. Do you felt any pain over here? No sir. Okay. You can get relaxed. Now I will palpate the peripheral pulse in the legs. Popliteal pulse. Bend the knee and feel for popliteal pulse. Then palpate the posterior TBL pulse. And also for dorsalis pedis pulse. Check for edema by pressing over the tibia or medial mellulus for 5 seconds. Then release the pressure.
normally finger pressure does not leave on adentition or pit if it does grade the pitting on scale from plus 1 mild pitting plus 2 moderate pitting plus 3 deep pitting plus 4 severe pitting assess the patient sensory functions of the legs for light touch sensation pain sensation temperature sensation vibration sensation and position sensation now i am going to place some objects on your legs for sensory function and you will have to tell me what it feels like light touch light touch next test the patient motor function by assessing his deep canine reflexes first test the quadriceps reflex for this have the patient seated with his legs relaxed and dangling over the edge of the examination table place one hand above the knee then tap his patellar tendon with a reflex hammer the lower leg should extend and the quadriceps should contract second achilles reflex how the patient bend his knee rotate his hip outward and dorsiflex his foot slightly then tap the achilles tendon with a reflex hammer the normal response is plantar flexion lastly check for plantar or babinski reflex to do this stroke the lateral aspects of the sole of the foot the normal response is plantar flexion with no toe panning or great toe dorsiflexion cerebellar function for the heel to shin test can you please place your heel up one leg on the opposite leg's knee and slide till the ankle for me yes sir okay. normally the patient should be able to do this in a straight line on the shin Now assess the patient gait and cross motor function. Mr. Ajay, can you walk a while for 10 to 15 feet? Turn and then walk back towards me. Okay, sir. His movement should be smooth and coordinated. His arms should swing freely and should turn without losing his balance. Now you can get relaxed. Now perform the Romberg test. Have the patient to stand with his feet together, his arms at side and eyes closed. Observe him for 20 seconds. He may sway slightly, but should not lose his balance. This test assesses the acoustic nerve, position sense, cerebral function, and muscle strength. to assess the tandem walking how the patient walk heel to toe in straight line mr ajay can you please walk from heel to toe in a straight line okay sir he should be able to walk in a straight line without losing his balance Thank you Mr Ajay you can get glass now Okay sir This completes your lower extremities examination Thank you so much for your cooperation That's fine sir Mr Ajay has normal range of motion tonal integrity and symmetry with no any lesions or edema His pulsation over femoral popliteal posterior tibialis and dorsal pedis were felt equal All the reflexes of lower extremities were normal
So guys, please do support by like, share and subscribe this channel. Thank, Thank you so much. much.